Hello, my spicy friends. It's been a while since my last video, hasn't it? Um, sorry about that. Uh, the last, you know, the last week was just Master League, Premier Classic, and Open Master League, and you know, I'm I'm almost finished building stuff for that format. It didn't really have anything super crazy. Um, I also had uh, finals that week, so yeah, great, great stuff. You know, didn't really have a whole lot of time to make videos. Uh, combined with a, you know, mediocre GBL season. But you know what? That's fine, because I, I'm i back now. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I'm off from my summer semester. I've got plenty of time to make PvP videos, and once you know it, Great League is back too. And that's, as everyone knows, that's the spiciest league. And uh, today I'm going to be showcasing Carnivine in Open Great League. I have it paired up with Politoed and Galarian Stunfisk for a classic ABB style team. Um, you know, it's kind of a loose definition of ABB, but the idea was pretty much just two things that counter flying types and steel types and rock types. Actually, Carnivine does pretty well against rock types too. It really depends. Uh, like the Carnivine versus Bastiodon matchup, that's not too bad. But this, this is fucking horrible. Look at this. This is this is a horrible lead, man. Um, yeah, I don't really. My backline has basically no play against a Raquinid. Actually, G Fisk does have some play, but it, it can lose depending on IVs. It's a very IV dependent matchup. Um, so I decided it was best to just keep in Carnivine. Uh, I like to throw Power Whip first, then Crunch, because a lot of people don't know what moves Carnivine has exactly, so I'm using it to my advantage. Uh, they're probably hoping to throw before my second Power Whip, but you know, I, I got a sneak attack on them, I got Crunch. Uh, so, uh, this actually turned out really well. I think they were expecting my Politoed to have Earthquake, because I brought it in, which would have been a very positive matchup, um, but mine actually doesn't. So I'm just going to have to bring in, uh, just go with the Blizzard first time and start spamming Weather Ball. And their lock-on is not doing very much damage to Politoed. Uh, pretty shitty IVs on my Politoed, that is for sure. But they might actually be helping in this matchup. I'm not 100% certain. I don't really know. But what I do know is that all these Weather Balls are starting to chunk. So I was going to bring in G Fisk and just finish it off. But... The Reggie Seal decides to go for Focus Blast, and that's fine. I think two more Weather Balls would have KO'd anyway. So I, I can I can understand why they would make that play. Uh, <laughs> hoping to go for a bait here. They do not shield, which is interesting, but it really doesn't matter because this next Rock Slide will probably KO or put them in Mud Shot range. Um, yeah. GG's, Trina. Next team up against a Shar... Sh what? Okay, Shiny... Shiny Sharpedo. I thought it was purified. Also, I think they just rage quit. So I'm going to speed up this next, uh, the rest of this battle just to make things a little easier for you guys. Uh, the frame rate's kind of, frame rate's kind of chugging there. Like, ooh man, that looks like shit. But, uh, you know, I recorded all these battles. I'm going to, I'm going to use all these battles. Uh, up against Ar Shadow Armaldo. This is a very spicy pick. I'm very, I'm very impressed. Actually, this is pretty awesome. I, uh, I decided to shield here because I wasn't very familiar with Armaldo's moveset and I didn't want to uh, take a X scissor to the face, but I, I don't even know if Armaldo can learn that move. Uh, anyway, I, uh, <laughs> I wasn't super sure what to do here. Looking back, I definitely should have just thrown it and swapped the G Fisk after they threw, but uh, yeah. I am in a really shitty position here because Shift Tree is a pretty major core breaker for this team. So I'm going to have to spend some shields or do something. Um, I decide, okay, I'm going to shield this, and then on the next Leaf Blade, I'm going to catch it in Carnivine. Except, check this bullshit out. Somehow they reached it in two snarls. Like, what the fuck, man? That's 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 crazy. How is that possible? Uh, and then they bring in Golbat and realize, okay, if they shield this, I lose. There is no way around it. And I lose. Okay. Bye, Golbat. Um... Next team, next game, up against a Victini. Not a super good lead. Um, I'm going to have to just go for straight crunches here. Uh, I probably should have just swapped something in, but I decided, okay, I'm going to get a shield from this thing. Uh, 
<laughs> and I just I get both shields. So pretty pretty good, pretty solid start. Um, I'm gonna bring in Politoed. I have to respect the possibility of a Focus Blast, except I know now they're not running it because no one runs Psychic and Focus Blast. Luckily, I do get to a Blizzard on this um, Altaria. I think I got the um, Psychic Defense drop too, which is fucking bullshit. Um, and then I get the Leaf Tornado debuff too. That is some that is some bullshit right there. Uh, <laughs> So I bring in G-Fisk, anyway, uh, I'm going to have to, my, my, so, okay, so my plan here, you see, is to get this thing into Weather Ball range, and then hope they immediately swap out the Victini, get a Mudshot farm down as they're going, on a farm run, so like get a Mudshot in, right, as they're going for more confusion, probably, and, and then I'll have enough energy to use two Weather Balls back to back, but they don't do that, uh, yeah, it was a 50-50 there, what exactly they're, they're going to do. So, uh, I, I don't feel too bad about that. That was, that was pretty pretty insane luck, though. Uh, bad luck, I guess. <laughs> uh, either way. Okay, so, you, you all know what this team is, right? It's like, you know, if you see a Bastiod on this day and age, it's probably going to be a Metacham and Sableye team. Or Grasshole. So, I have to swap in Polito, and they bring in Metacham. So, okay, it is definitely a Basti, Medi, Sableye team. I fucking love those. They are so fun to play against. You know how I feel about that. Um, so my plan here is let Polito die and then farm down with Carnivine. Barely made it. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to get to a uh, Power Whip here. Unfortunately for me, the Basudon gets to a Flamethrower. So I'm going to have to spend a shield. They bring in Stunfisk. Uh, they bring in Sableye, which is actually okay for me, because this is a Shadow Sableye, so it can't have Return. Not like it matters, because it, it, it can't, it, uh, it wouldn't use Return, you know? <laughs> G-Fisk is Steel type, what the fuck am I saying? Uh, anyway, I just gotta outpace this thing, some Rock Slides, maybe farm down a little. Yeah, yeah, uh, I make a call here, I decide I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna get the shield from Sableye. Wait, what, what the fuck, is that like a... Why is that CP in that thing? Oh, it is 1500. Okay, misread from a distance. Looked like 1300 or something. But it, yeah. Anyway, uh, I gotta outpace this Bastiodon. It gets a race to the charge move, and boom, we win. That was that was actually a pretty intense one. I liked that. That was that, was, that felt good. That felt really good. I liked it. You know, I, I like games where I win. Uh, now this is a shitty lead. Probably the worst possible lead for. Um, <laughs> Fuck Carnivine. His eyes may be like Altaria. Um, but yeah, that's gotta be up there. And they go for lunge, bringing in uh, Trevenant. I decide, okay, this is fine. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bring in Carnivine because Carnivine, I believe, does outpace Trevenant. Uh, at least to Crunch as opposed to Shadow Ball. So uh, yeah, I, ha I have to call. I have to call. I can't call their bait. I have to. Say, okay, it's a, it's a Shadow Ball, guys. Um, but luckily, they decide to throw a little too early. So I know this is a Seed Bomb. So I can I can live this and get to a Crunch just in time. So I have to swap in uh, G-Fist to whoever's in the back. And they bring in a Scrafty. Okay, that is horrible. Uh, GG's trainer just got rps Hurts to see. All right. Uh, new game up against a Frostlass in the lead. This is a uh, tricky situation to be in for sure because Frostlass does have Avalanche. And we do win CMP. Very nice. But I think eventually Frostlass is going to start to outpace us. So I decide that the best oppor the best thing to do uh, is to catch on Politoed. Um, they bring in a Raichu, which is uh, not a horrible thing to see for sure. Uh, especially the lowling kind, because now it's weak to crunch, which is awesome. So I can spring in, farm a little bit, but unfortunately they do win the CMP tie, which is a quite, a, quite a shame. So I just have to shield that up and go for the crunch. Bam! Alright, they bring in Frostlass, but we make it to the second crunch, and boom. Yeah, bye Frostlass. What's in back? Altaria, okay, we win this. Um, yeah, uh, there is, uh, <laughs> man, I love G-Fist, it's so fun, it's so fun to just counter shit like this. 
you know, sometimes I wonder if Altar is still good in this meta. I guess it has the potential to be good. Like, yeah, it, it has play still, but there's just so much that Wallet is no play against Steels. <laughs> Man, they should just give this thing Earthquake in Season 12. I, I hope not. Alright, let's close up the... Let's 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 get the last game tonight. Last game tonight is going to be a fun Carnivine sweep. Um, very awesome, very awesome. We love Carnivine sweeps, we love all sweeps, but Carnivine sweeps are the best sweeps because sweeps with spicy mons are the funnest to watch. Who doesn't love that? Now, we are in a pretty poor situation here with Politoed versus Araquanid. The best play here is just spam Weather Ball because all of my moves are resisted. Uh, oh, we got the defense drop too. That's just splendid. All right, Stunfisk, come on in, man. Let's let's show your stuff. Let's slide some rocks. And uh, they decide to catch on a Marowak, which is interesting, but also fine. Like, yeah, I can live with that. I just need to outpace them a little bit, and then I can set up the Carnivine Sweep. I do up the shield one bone club at least, but another one, uh, Jeevas can tank that. Yeah. Uh, Jeevas can live a bone club from here and then dish out another rock slide or take a shield, either of which are totally acceptable options. I'm really hoping for that shield, honestly. Uh, yeah. Sweet shield. All right. Carnivine time. Let's go. They bring in fucking Swamper. This is too perfect. Uh, I do, uh, get a little overexcited here in shield. Uh, whoops. But that's okay, because I uh, I can just take this Swampert out. I take it out. In comes Arachnid. Gonna go for a Power Whip here, because we need all the power we can to knock out this bug. And boom, bye-bye, and time for the crunch. Thanks for watching this epic sweep, my spicy friends. I hope you enjoyed this Carnivine gameplay, and hopefully I'll see you all again soon.